All right, so I'm about to show you something extremely rare. First time I've ever seen one here in Pennsylvania, at least in my neck of the woods. And we're going to show you him in his full glory. Now, I've never seen one of these salamanders here. Now, I showed you a lot of my other salamanders, but never one like this. So let's try to zoom in on him. Look at that beauty. What a gorgeous looking salamander. That's a big one. I've never exactly seen this one here. I've seen maybe three other types of salamanders, another one being even more rare than this one, but I have seen another salamander. So there's three that I know of, and then, of course, now this one. Now, I always like showing wildlife that grows in and around my garden, around here. A lot of people are like, dude, you're a garden channel. You shouldn't be showing animals and things. Um, these animals have a symbiotic relationship with your garden, so it's always good to know everything associated with where you're growing your plants. That's usually how you get the best success. I try to tell people, most people, that growing tomatoes, for example, you don't need to know how to grow tomatoes to be an expert tomato grower. You need to be an expert mycologist. So things like this is how you become successful growing your plants in your environment. You need to know the kind of creatures that lurk around in and around your garden. And this one is an absolute beauty. Look at that. Look at that fat one. Look you know how many worms that, that thing has probably sucked up. I'm going to try some other angles. I don't want to scare them because once you scare them, they ditch and you'll never get them. He will wiggle his way through those leaves. He's gone. But I'm, I'm very happy to see that. That is a beauty right there. Man, that is gorgeous. Let's try to see if we can... Let's see if we can get another view of, of him. Get a frontal view. I don't, I don't think he's exactly camera sh shy, but then again, you don't know. There he is there, but he's kind of hidden. I'll give you a look at his face, if we could. See, there's a leaf there. If I move that leaf, he's gonna be gone. I can't zoom, it won't let me focus. There's no way to actually focus. Forget about manual focus. Hopefully you can see that. He's got a beautiful little face. He's starting to turn. Gorgeous looking. Man, that is, that is a beautiful red salamander. Now he's not poisonous. Some people think, oh, he's red, he's gotta be poisonous. No, he's not poisonous. He just looks poisonous. And he's supposed to because that way, all the birds and all those things won't eat him up. I mean, stay, stay back. Here's a good angle. Let's see. I don't have my glasses, so I'm not sure if this is blurry or not, but... Man, what a beautiful specimen. Gorgeous looking. Man, he's fat too. He's eating a lot of slugs and a lot of worms. Look at the pattern on him. Beautiful. Gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'd love to keep them as a pet, but you just enjoy their momentary beauty when you come into contact with such a beautiful creature and then let them go. Leave them alone. Hopefully we see them again. I'll put the correct name of that salamander. i got to look it up in the uh, title and description. That way you can, uh, you can see what he looks like online, a little better view of him. But yeah, that's just one of the native species out here where I live in the Appalachian Mountains. we got so many... Bio, we got so much biodiversity up here. I've never seen anything like that on the East Coast. 
I guess once you live in this environment, you start to see more, but that's one of them that are out in this area. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.